Okay, let's see if we can help out Clockwork here. Private Jack, and what we're going to talk about are the robotic Boogaloo items that he's referring to. There's been a new release in Team Fortress 2, and he wants to know if they're usable in Source Filmmaker yet. Well, it's going to take a while for them to hit the actual updates for Source Filmmaker, so let's see if we can find them and get them to work in Source Filmmaker. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open GCF Scape. Now that uh, Team Fortress 2 has changed its delivery method, uh, the actual game cache files are located in a different location. Click on File, and where we need to go is to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and in that folder you're going to find the new delivery method that Team Fortress has adopted and that's through VPK files. GCF Scape is capable of opening VPK files if you have version 1.8.4 or later. So most of the models are located here in the TF MIS package and what we're looking for is tf2 underscore miss underscore dir dot vpk. Double click on that to open it in GCF Scape and we're going to head to the models. Now here in the models you're going to find the robot boogaloo stuff under the workshop folder. So workshop player items and here are the Boogaloo items. So you're saying to yourself, how do I get this stuff into Source Filmmaker? Well, what you need to do is you need to extract these items into your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, TF models, workshop, and what you can do is you can just drag player into this area here, drop it, and it'll ask you if you want to merge the files. Say yes. Uh, yes, you've already got Scarecrow there, probably, if you've uh, unpacked it just do all for current items and say yes. It wants to replace five files. These files are all the same. It's just that they're updated a little bit and basically take the ones from the temp file. It's the scarecrow again. Okay, so that's got the models in. Is this going to work in Team Fortress or in uh, Source Filmmaker? <clears throat> well, I just happen to have Source Filmmaker loaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a an animation set for a new model. I'm going to rescan and here I'm going to type what am I going to type? I just want to see if one of the items are here. Robo underscore. It's going to take a while for my model to load up. Oh, there we go. There's the sandwich. And lo and behold, the sandwich is there. Maybe I've already done this. Because I should have to actually go through and install the materials. problem with having so many assets located in Source Filmmaker. You have to wait for them to actually scan through.
Yeah, I think I've already done this. But we'll find out in a second. <coughs> There they come. Oh, I can see that I've already done this. Dang, dang, dang. I'm going to have to restart this whole thing all over again. Oh, maybe not. What's the MVM loop? Okay, here we go. Ah, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, as you can see, the models are now in Source Filmmaker. However, they've got that black and purple checkerboard. And what that is telling me is that these items don't have any materials. So it's back to GCF Scape. And what we want to do is we want to open the materials for, uh, files now. Now, I did see materials here in this particular GCF, or a VPK file. Let's see if they're located here. Right. No, models. Where's models? There. Workshop. Player. Items. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so... Basically, we don't have to open up any other of the uh, VPK files because they're already located here. So what we need to do now is we need to go to Materials, Models, Workshop, and here's the materials for all those things that we just imported. Maybe. Hmm. The material file, or the uh, valve material text files are here, but I don't see any of the actual textures. So we're going to bring these in to our. Game TF Materials Models Workshop and oops, sorry. What we're going to do in the GCF scape is we're going to go up to Workshop and we're just going to drag the players over again. Drop that here. Yes, we want to merge. Do the same for all current. And we're going to replace those. Now, if I have a look in Source Filmmaker, new model, root. Oh, we still have checkerboards. I'll let this rescan for a couple of seconds. And what we have to do now, I'm quite sure, is we actually have to go through and we have to open up another one of the VPK files. So the VPK file that we're looking for, click on the little folder and arrow to open up a new file or open up a file. We're going to come down here to TF2 textures underscore DIR VPK. Open that one up and these are all the materials. Scroll down here. We're going to look for models. Scroll down again. Find workshop. Player. Items. And here are the actual VTF files for those materials. So we actually, it's a good thing we stopped at the other one or we wouldn't have gotten them either. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come up to Workshop, we're going to open up our Common Source Filmmaker Game TF Materials Model Workshop, and we're going to pull this player in here as well. Yes. 
do the same for all current items. Replace those two items. And now if we come in here, we should still have the checkerboards. Nope. Woohoo, that's no good. Don't want to lose his head. Hmm. wrong way. And there you go. Now you got those items for my bot, uh, the robot boogaloo into T, uh, into source code. And with that, what I say is, Private Jack, out.